So today I'm going to be taking a look at TOML files or TOM files. I'm not going to be going over the format in details since it's a very simple format. And if you want to read more about it, I will leave a few articles down below. But very quickly, this is the way you set a key value pair. This is the way you group key value pairs or arrays within an object. And you will be able to see this later when we pass this to JSON. This is the way you make arrays. And that is pretty much the entire format. It's very simple. So let's go ahead into the code. So the first line is just FS because we want to read and write from the file system. The next thing is TOML, which is a library for passing TOML files. So that's what we're going to be using that for. And the next line here is just going to pass that configuration file into a JSON object. So you can see it works by just doing TOML.pass. And then we can either pass in a string or we can pass in a file file stream, which is what we're doing in this case. And the next line here is just displaying the data, but we could of course have done whatever we wanted with the data. But let me quickly just run this application. So if we just scroll up here, you can see that objects null prototype. So there's a little error with TOML, but it doesn't matter because you can still use the data. And you can see that the title is just here. So you would just do data.title to get that even test that so if we just do here and if we go ahead and run it again you can see we get the title so let's scroll back up here and you can see that these two properties down here are grouped within a owner object so you can see that that's the way it works so you can see that it puts it within an object and you can see the way an array works down here. Now, let's say you actually wanted to make this file yourself. Unfortunately, this TOML library does not have the capabilities to convert JSON to TOML files. But since it's a very simple format, we can actually go ahead and generate it with JavaScript templating strings. And this is the way I have decided to do it. But here I'm just setting a key value pair and I'm also setting this array here. And let's try to run this here to see if it works. And you can see that this created a test.toml file. And here we go. We have the title set to cars and our car array set to the different brands of cars. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.